in, in, in New Yorker library, at least when I worked there, as a fact checker, there, there were the books of, you know, they, you would, they would have, a, <clears throat> you know, James Thurber would have his folder, which was like this thick, and, um, and, and John Updike, you know, would have his folder, and then J.D. Salinger, a thinner one. Uh, you know, these bound volumes of, 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 um, of New Yorker publications by New Yorker. New Yorker authors, and there must be one for me there at the, uh, somewhere. Um, but I, I published, uh, uh, I published a, a very you know very long, very very long short story, uh, and quite a bit of uh, nonfiction in the in the in the mid nineties. Um, I, uh, <clears throat> I was most active at the New Yorker when Tina Brown was the was the editor there. Uh, slightly anomalous period, for for. Uh, a number of years I was persona non grata at the New Yorker because I had started out as a fact checker and I'd been fired after 10 months for being a bad fact checker and, and then I'd written Bright Lights Big City which contains a, you know, famously contains a thinly disguised portrait of the New Yorker. So, um, uh, yeah, I have a very complicated history with them. <laughs>